Ellen McCauley at Freight Off to New York, and I'm talking about change this session. And one of the things we have to change, numero uno, is our head. And we have to have positive thoughts. I was positive I could stay the same on the cruise, and that's what <coughs> saved me. That's what saved me from not gaining 10 pounds. You have to believe, and even if you fall a little short, it's okay. You can't go, I gained two pounds, get me a hot fudge sundae. We have to, and then the funny thing is, we have to have positive thoughts that believe we can lose weight and keep it off. And then you start believing you can. You leave here tonight and you're like, woohoo, I, I believe, I believe, Ellen, I'm, I'm a believer. And then you say, wait a minute, my family always has pizza on Friday night, so I'm going to have the pizza. So I'll start again on Monday because that will give me a few days before Thursday. And Ellen's taking those two pounds off for the clothes now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come in in a slip because I really <laughs> want to get really low on those two pounds. So we think we have so much time from Thursday to Thursday. And all of a sudden you blink and it's there. So let's take a look about our weight loss beliefs. What do I believe about my body? Well, I believe, oh, it was so funny at Family Feud. I am telling you, I had the whole crowd. We got picked to be, the, there was, a thousand, how many people were on the ship? 5,000, I forgot, 5,290. And 110, 105, 105 families, families applied yep. to be on Family Feud and they had to have an interview. And they narrowed it down to 12. Our family was one of the finest 12. <coughs> and then I had to go do Fast Money against somebody else. It was so funny, and I, was, I always wanted to do fast money, and I was like, mm, mm, mm. So needless to say, we got picked. So there's us in this family. So I wanted the crowd to love us, you know. So we, I said, here's my beautiful sister May, and my beautiful niece, and there's my handsome brother-in-law. And I go, and there's my incredibly sexy husband, and don't you ladies get any ideas on him. Because I got my eyes on each. Well, they, uh, the whole cruise people were coming. Don't look at him. She's got her eyes on me. So, you have to make it funny, you know? And everyone believed that my husband, who he is, cute and sexy, but you say it and it's true. And I just feel like if we say to ourselves, you know what, I have a few pounds to lose, but I'm kind of hot and sexy for 69. You say it, here's the key, the part, you got to kind of believe it, you know? And it was so funny because this one lady on the cruise, she had more wrinkles than uh, a basset hound, you know? So she says to me, she's chewing gum because she's a big smoker, I could tell, she's like, how old do you think I am, honey? And I'm like, Ooh. she wants me to say young, I know, she, I said, um, I said, oh, I don't know, uh, 59? She's like, ha, 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 I'm 65. I knew you wouldn't guess my age. She goes, what are you, 70? Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, ha, 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 ha. Pretty close. But the thing is, I look, I thought I looked a million times better than her. So while she wasn't looking, I got out my phone, turned it on the mirror part of it, and I'm like, how do you look, Ellen? It didn't matter what she thought. I think I look good. That's what you have to believe. And you have to believe that you can change your body. And here's what we can't think. You can never say, I will always be fat. You can't say that. You cannot say that. You cannot say, here's what you have to say, I will always be beautiful. You can't say, I can't lose weight. You say, I can lose weight and I will do whatever it takes to get there healthy and to sustain it. And here's a big one. My illness makes me impossible for me to lose weight. Then you say, I can lose weight with my illness. People do it all the time and so can I. We just have to realize that all our beliefs are our recurrent thoughts that we accept as facts. We think it's a fact that we are failures at losing weight, but why not believe that our body is beautiful and capable? I've had children out of, these, out of this body. I, I've lived my life. I've traveled. I've seen the Mona Lisa. All here. This is it. This is all I get. This is all you get, okay? Changing your beliefs is as easy as changing your thoughts. We need to practice, though, and we need to do that starting right now. I'm going to stop right there, Bobby, and go right into five minutes.